Hello guys and it's your girl Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am here for my first video of 2020. So guys, just a little disclaimer before I continue with the video is I am very, 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 very grateful for all the countries that I have been able to see and I pray to God that I'm able to see many, many more. With what the situation of that the world's in right now and everything that's going on, I know that a lot of people, a lot of people are losing family members, losing their lives, their health um, and so on. And I am always praying for people. I'm grateful that I have my health and that my family has their health as well. And I just wanted to make a little video to kind of lift people's spirits, give some people things to look forward to. Too. so I hope you guys do enjoy the video and please guys any if you need anything someone just to talk to if you're feeling low because obviously self-isolation and social distancing is harder for some people than it is for others please send me a message send me a message whether it's on my YouTube Facebook Instagram anything please send me a message because I'm literally always here and happy to talk to anyone who needs it So the first way that you can travel during this lockdown is by typing into YouTube virtual tour of London and there's quite a few different YouTube channels that actually give you like a 4k tour of the city so that is a way for you to explore another city while you're at home also just general YouTube videos subscribe to lots of different youtubers <laughs> mine subscribe 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 um, and you guys can enjoy seeing different cities from different people's point of views another way that you can actually experience traveling while we're on lockdown is by learning another language so whether it's Spanish Portuguese Italian Greek Urdu Russian, Shona, Yoruba, Osa, Osa, Osa. <laughs> Whatever language it is that you have always wanted it to learn, well, you might as well start learning it now while you have the time, while you're at home, while you can really sit down and dedicate time to learning the language. But then you can also, it is like a little snippet of traveling, experience a little bit of a different culture and country as you're learning the language. So then when you decide that you want to go and visit that country, bam, you've got some lingo and you've got the lingo down. <laughs> If you're like me and whenever you're traveling you like to do walking tours, usually during a walking tour they teach you about the history of the country and the city that you're in, you can literally learn that from home so it'll be like you're doing a, like getting a little snippet in, um, into a free walking tour and who knows you can end up in that country and end up being um, a tour guide giving free walking tours because during your quarantine time, during your lockdown time you learn about the history of the country. So another way that you can travel during the lockdown is by cooking food from another country. Yes guys, that is my favorite one. Cooking food from another country. Obviously I'm not saying run out and go buy loads and loads of ingredients, but look at what you have in your house and think of a traditional dish, whether you want to make some spaghetti bolognese. Okay, that's really, really basic, <laughs> but give yourself Italian night. If you've got a glass of wine or some Aperol spritz or some Prosecco, some pasta, some cheese, Italian night done or if you want to do like a Mexican themed night and you can play some Mexican music in the background have some guacamole some nachos or if you're having Niger night at your house get yourself some jollof rice get yourself some pepper soup and start banging out the afro beans you can literally give yourself a whole nice new dining experience obviously according to whatever ingredients that you do have at home um, you can give yourself a whole dining experience you'll basically be traveling while you're on lockdown Another way to travel while we're on lockdown is by following people on Instagram who've done a lot of traveling. If you go to my page, for instance, <laughs> if you go to my page, for instance, and you look through my highlights, you will be able to see all the my, my previous trips and just literally you can just flick through and see all the different things that I got up to while I was on those trips. Um, and that's the same with loads of other people. There's quite a few people that I follow, people like Black and Sugi, um, move with doyen um food and baker they do food and they travel a lot um the road to culture Dern. there's quite a few people who i follow who after they finish traveling and they put it on their stories they also add it to their highlights and it's a nice way to kind of relive their trips and also get some ideas of when you next want to take your next adventure or places to go and things that you can do when you're there <laughs> so guys the next one this is a fun one just for me and it just means that you'll be very very knowledgeable but you can basically learn all the flags and all the capital cities for every single country in the world i know some people might be like oh my goodness that's so long or that's so boring but no it's fun it's literally fun because you'll literally get someone to quiz you test you so when it comes to maybe even a trivia pub night you'll be you'll be ready but also it's just a bit fun learning about it because as you're kind of looking at flags and capital cities you will see different learn different facts about those cities or facts about those countries but yeah it's just a bit fun a little way to feel like you're getting a little taste of different countries and anyone who does actually do that 
please comment below comment below and let me know because i would love to know how long it took you because me myself i'm going to try it myself so the penultimate one is to plan a trip literally plan a trip i wouldn't say book anything obviously just because we don't know what's going to happen and nothing's guaranteed but if you can start looking at budgets of how much you'll need roughly to travel to certain countries or if you look at what kind of things that you're going to need to pack literally just plan a trip look at different accommodation different hotels different um airlines that fly to those countries different airports things to do literally you can plan a trip whether it's an imaginary trip that you've never planned to do because it's super expensive and way 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 out of your budget and it's only there for wishful thinking or it could be something that you generally think that maybe like september october or whenever um this whole thing kind of settles down and we're able to travel again that you can do so you might as well just plan a trip because you'll be ready one you'll be ready but two it's enjoy it's enjoyable part and it'll make you feel like you're getting ready to travel again so guys the final way that you can travel while we're on lockdown is by following me guys follow me everywhere subscribe to my youtube channel read my blogs follow me on instagram twitter facebook pinterest follow me everywhere and i will be sharing constantly throughout this lockup time new content old content reviving my old content and sharing some of the stuff that i used to share that you might not have seen already um make sure just make sure you subscribe to my channel follow me everywhere and that will put all the travel feels that you have whether you're missing the island life in jamaica <laughs> Or whether you want something a little more bougie in Paris. Um, okay, that was a really bad French accent. But yes, you know what I mean. Um, it's all going to be on my uh, my channel, my socials. And so, and guys, also ask me questions. Any questions you have, feel free to leave it in the comment, on, comment on my blogs or anything like that. So, there you have it, guys. Ways to travel during lockdown. Thank you so, so much for watching and for listening. Just make sure that you give this video a nice big thumbs up. Um, and leave a comment below and let me know where you'll be exploring.